What's Gucci everyone? In this video I'm going to be going over basically how Ruby handles exception classes. So I'm going to get rid of this for right now. And what I have in my accept.rb file is a begin, rescue, and end block. And basically what this allows you to do is catch exceptions in Ruby. So right now I have a begin block which says, okay, watch out for this code. This may begin an exception. Then I'm going to have a rescue clause. And in the rescue, I have an exception. In this case, I have the grandfather of all exceptions, the great ancestor exception. And I have this arrow syntax. And what this arrow syntax means is it will put the, er put the error, the exception, in a variable for me so I can print it out. So in this case, what's going to happen is if there's an exception anywhere between this in this begin block and rescue, if the exception happens, all of it is going to get caught by this rescue, and then I'm going to do something to either resolve this error or um, return out of the program. I don't have to return out of the program, and also, since I'm rescuing the error, then I'm dealing with it, and then my program will continue. And that's why I have that puts high, puts high at the very end. So what's going to happen if I run this program like it is right now? You probably can guess I'm just going to get high because 5 divided by 1 is an exception. But what if I do one of the most common beginner exceptions, i divide by 0? Well, in math, that's not allowed, and in Ruby, that's not allowed. So instead, I got e exception, which I got a divide by 0 exception, and that's what e got transformed into. And then I still resolve that and, and um, put an exception with it. Also, something you can quickly do is, let me say, I'm going to set a equal to 0, and then I'm going to do 5 divided by a, and then I'm going to run this again and I still got divided by zero. One thing you can do is you can use the retry block. So what I could do is if I get an exception, I could do retry, and what retry will do is it will retry the begin block loop. So what happened is I a was set to zero, then it, I did five divided by a, zero. I caught the exception, I reset a back to, I reset a to one, and then I retried it. So retrying it did not cause an exception. I also didn't put the exception. But let's see, let me show you that if I put, if I puts here, let's see puts, I'll just put C like the last time, and then I run this, I did not get the divided by, I did not ever hit the line 10 here. Once I hit retry, I want to immediately back up to this begin block, did 5 divided by 1, never hit the rescue block, because I never threw an exception, and then ended up with puts high. So with the, the retry block, you gotta, you have to watch out, you should only use it in very careful situations, because you could easily have like an infinite case where what you're trying to um, do is not helping the exception case and you know you, your program's running forever. So only use that, so use that with caution, but obviously um, with implementing something like math, like a divide by zero error, that can be taken up very easily and can be used very nicely. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys have a great day, best day of your lives.